President Biden's visit to the southern border last weekend drew a mixed reaction from lawmakers. Democrats in Texas called the president's trip productive, while Republicans called the visit too little, too late. Washington correspondent Anna Wernicke looks closer at the response to the president's trip to Texas. Hours after President Joe Biden made his first presidential trip to the U.S.-Mexico border, a bipartisan group of eight senators touched down in Texas to tour the same border town themselves. We want to take your experiences, your feedback, your frustrations and your solutions um, back to Washington. The senators met with local officials and border agents before touring a migrant facility, a very similar trip to the president's visit on Sunday. They need a lot of resources and we're going to get it for them. The president was joined by Texas Democratic Congresswoman Veronica Escobar, who called the visit productive. The other thing that has impacted what we have seen in El Paso is really a, a, a lack of, in, in, of modernizing investment and a, a lack of modernizing our, our laws. But the president didn't get a warm welcome from Texas Governor Greg Abbott, who hand delivered a letter to the president that read, your visit to our southern border with Mexico today is $20 billion too little and two years too late. This is for nothing but for show unless it begins to enforce the immigration laws. Texas Republican Senator John Cornyn says it's time to put politics aside. Our system's broken and it's our responsibility even in this polarized political environment, to try to come up with solutions. Anna Warnicke for State of Texas. As Anna mentioned, both the president and the senators visited some of the same areas in El Paso, but some border security officials say sweeps that happened before those visits prevented the president and other lawmakers from seeing the magnitude of the problem. News Nation's Allie Bradley takes a closer look. It's being called a crisis of epic proportions, one that is impacting thousands of people seeking a better life. I want to help my family in Venezuela. Their economic situation is not a good one. Since we are all brothers, we want to help our family. I also have children and want to help them as well. While Border Patrol agents warn, it's also threatening our national security. We have a problem. Agents are frustrated. The El Paso sector has had more than 168,000 encounters since this fiscal year began October 1st, according to DHS sources. But while President Biden visited some of the facilities in El Paso, some Border Patrol agents are saying the clean sweeps that happen prior to lawmakers visiting border communities prevents them from actually seeing the magnitude of the problem. If you kept, continue cleaning it up, continue the dog and pony show, we're not going to get nowhere in this administration. We're not going to get nowhere with fixing the problem. This is what it looked like in December. The city started conducting roving patrols to help get people off the streets and into shelters. Border Patrol also ramped up foot patrols across the city, checking for identification and gang tattoos, arresting those with criminal records. The other individuals that have just crossed illegally, that have not been detained, have not been vetted, we have absolutely zero clue as to what any criminal background they may have had in the United States, what criminal crimes they may have committed. That's one of the major problems, I think. So by the time President Biden arrived Sunday and a bipartisan group of senators touring the area today, things were immaculate here in El Paso. This as a processing center is now only at 25 percent capacity. All the while, undocumented individuals work to keep their own space clean while they wait for a bus ticket, another leg of the journey where they will encounter several checkpoints and face deportation. I just got here here a week ago and they are not giving us the documents we need to travel up north. We can run the risk of paying someone to get on a truck, but then we could get stopped and removed because we don't have our papers. We need that for our family. That was News Nation's Allie Bradley reporting from El Paso. President Biden's visit came right before his trip to Mexico City to meet with leaders of Mexico and Canada. At a news conference after the meeting, President Biden talked about the importance of working with other countries and providing aid to help slow the rate of migration. We're going to continue our efforts to address the root causes of migration uh, to help people stay in their home countries. I've asked the Congress for $4 billion to provide for that. We've also had our vice president provide for uh, private donations of over $3 billion to make sure that people look. All of you know, all of us in the United States are immigrants. 
mine go all the way back to the Irish famine. But the point is, all of us have been immigrants. We can do more than merely just make le legal immigration more streamlined. But we can also do it by preventing people from wanting to have to leave in the first place, by helping their communities, in fact, better their circumstances. The president also talked about the need for funding to increase technological capabilities on the border, both to intercept illegal drugs and people being smuggled into the United States. Record revenue gives Texas lawmakers a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity when it comes to the budget, but also a unique challenge. These things are decisions they're able to make that won't just impact the next two years, but literally can impact in future generations. We get perspective on the budget battles to come and look at some of the options on the table as the session begins.